Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for April 2021. We're going to look into your recent past, your current energies, and your near future. So, as I said in last week's, if you got to see it, I had seen that you guys had your hands on your head like just out of frustration. Well, this time I heard brick wall. Like you feel like, again, you're still beating your head up against a, a brick wall. I feel like this is more around something to do with work. Maybe there's some frustration with, with someone that you work with. Or maybe just kind of everything, all aspects of life. It's like you can't find that sweet spot, that balance. Whatever is going on at work, if that's the area where you feel like you're beating your head up against a wall, I'd say be patient because things are about to smooth out. I think you're going to see, they keep showing me a road like that's been windy and then it starts to smooth out. All right, so let's get into your energies and see how that plays out for you. This is for Scorpio. I already shuffled and cleared the deck, so we're just going to shuffle a little bit more and pull your cards and see what's going on in your recent past. We've got the Seven of Cups in reverse. That's good. Coming out of confusion and moving away from a situation that just isn't working, whether that be work or a relationship. We've got the Five of Swords in reverse. This is your current energy. This looks really good, Scorpio. I think whatever was going on last week, it seems like you found your way out of it. For sure, okay. Yeah, there's a pretty clear picture here. And then we have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So this feels, well, obviously that's a lot of fighting. And wherever your confusion was in the the recent past, and definitely see you're walking away from it. I mean, there's, you don't feel like you have any more options. So if you're walking away from a job because there's just so much, um, not just arguing and fighting, this feels like manipulation and um, frustration around trying to even get a sentence out. I, I just feel my throat chakra just like shut off, like you couldn't speak your mind about how you were feeling in the relationship. It was just constant confusion and upset and I just keep hearing deceit. So. It looks like you might have just recently walked away from this relationship. You're definitely moving towards the future, whether you be in a relationship or not. If you're in one currently, it looks like you wanted to have conversations with your partner about getting past all these issues and maybe you threatened to leave and they weren't taking it very well, which most people don't when you say you wanna leave them. But whatever it is, there was just too much anguish issues, arguing. All right, so let's clearly look at the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. That's see ya. I'm packing a bag and I'm out of here. I'm not dealing, you're not confused anymore about what you want and you're clearly, you've clearly made it uh, obvious to whoever this is. I don't want to say the energies could be rever reversed, so cross watchers, I'm sorry. I feel like this is the Scorpio saying I've had enough is enough and I'm walking away. I can't deal with this anymore. So we'll clarify that energy in just a minute. So with the current energies, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So again, I feel like you've already walked away from this situation because you, you just couldn't do it anymore. The Seven of Wands is like, I've got all this going on. I have all these opportunities. I have so many things that I want to express into the world and I'm not getting anywhere in this relationship. So why should I waste any more time? I'm going to take myself away from all of the arguing and fighting and go find a peace of mind. Again, I, I want some clarification on that. Okay. So underneath of the five of wands, we've got the hermit in reverse. So maybe you just felt like you could never, ever get a peaceful moment. I'm getting that you never felt like you had the ability to really get your point across. There's something about that, the speaking aspect in the relationship. It's like, no matter what you said or did, it just wouldn't get you anywhere, is what I keep sensing. So 
the frustration that you were feeling last week, this coming into April and maybe through April, it depends, you know, time is linear uh, or is not linear. It's, I always forget what it is. Anyway, time doesn't matter. It's kind of the energy that you're moving forward into April with looking into the future. So let's go into your near future. So you've got the King of Swords and then you've got the Three of Wands. Maybe right now you're not sure where you want to go. Um, there's a lot of thinking about it. The, the King of Swords, a lot of mental energy. Maybe you just want to really process everything that has happened in the past and or if you're in this relationship currently before you move forward, some kind of a, an end needs to happen if it hasn't already happened. And I think you're going to be glad you did because that mental anguish is enough to drive somebody crazy. I mean, between the hands on the head that I saw last week and this week, the, the brick wall, like beating your head against a brick wall, it's pure frustration. So we need to get you out of that energy and move you forward. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the recent past. Yeah, I definitely see you moving away from any kind of deceit, confusion. Um, maybe your partner had multiple options. Maybe you have options now and you weren't seeing them in the past. And now you're just realizing, okay, wait a minute. I, you know, I didn't realize I had options. Why am I fighting to be in this relationship when I can move forward and make choices for myself? You know, again, moving out of that situation, getting away from it. Two of these cards are right here in this direction are saying I'm moving away from this situation because I, I didn't see where it could move into the future. I, I just didn't see how it could possibly work out. All right, so let's clarify the recent past. We've got the King of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and God, a lot of reversals today. Okay, so feeling stuck in your head, not being able to make a decision. Again, this is that whole brick wall. Like the Six of Pentacles, there, there was probably no balance in this relationship whatsoever in the past. I mean, the Six of Pentacles in reverse is complete imbalance, a lack of grounding, um, no ability to make decisions. Maybe the two of you could never make decisions together. You just didn't see eye to eye. And your frustration, your, the King of Swords, really just a lot of heavy, heavy mental energy. A lot of frustration about the fights. Maybe you just couldn't understand why the fights were even happening at times. Okay, so let's clarify the current energy. Tell me about the current energy for Scorpio. What do they need to know about the Five of Swords in reverse? And the Six of Wands moving forward. That's really a victory. The Six of Wands, maybe you feel like now that you've stepped away from all this battle that you're feeling like you can finally celebrate. I thought that was the Seven at first, but now I realize it's the Six. I don't know why I saw this, the Seven. And that's victory. That's knowing that you made the right decision to walk away from a situation. You feel much better about it. I feel like with the with the King of Swords in the future, let's not get too far ahead. So let's go ahead and we've got the Lovers in Reverse, the Moon card in Reverse, and the Seven. Of, there's the Seven of Wands. Okay, so <laughs> that was foreshadowing, wasn't it? All right. So in the current energy again. You know, the Five of Swords in reverse, not wanting to fight anymore. The, the Six of Wands feeling victorious, feeling good about the decision that you've made to walk away from a past relationship. Or if you're in a current relationship they're mentioning, it's just putting down the swords. It's like, I, I want a victory and I want it now. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to put the past behind us and move on. So with the Lovers in reverse and the current energy, maybe you're just not focused on relationships at this point if you've come out of this it could be that you want to put that on the back burner for the time being the moon in reverse I want to say you're you're more focused on the mental aspect of relationships I feel like that dreaminess that comes with the moon this is Pisces cancer energy 
isn't going to sway you one way or the other. If there was any kind of deception in the relationship, maybe it hasn't quite come to light yet, sorry, but there could be a possibility that with the Seven of Wands, you're going to hear something about the relationship that you may have questioned, whether you thought that this person was doing something behind your back. I have a feeling you're going to find out with that Seven of Cups we, we talked about earlier, maybe you or they had options, but I'm, I'm feeling like maybe they did and it betrayed the relationship and that's where all the arguing was coming from. And those, I think those secrets are going to come to light if you have any question about them. You're going to get clarity for sure with the Seven of Wands. There's not going to be any question. It's like six different wands coming at this person. So you may be hearing this from a lot of different people once you get out or now that you've come out of the relationship. You're going to have a lot of people saying, hey, listen, these are things that we saw. Maybe family and friends have been telling you for a while. They just didn't think that this relationship was healthy for you. And that they're really happy and supportive of the fact that you're going to move away from it now. And you're going to find time to really celebrate with them and and really feel like you've dodged a bullet is the word that they just gave me. So that being with your current energy, let's go ahead and see what we've got for the King of Swords and the Three of Wands in reverse. Again, moving away from energies that kept you in your head, like you were constantly questioning the relationship is what it feels like. So you're putting that behind you and you're moving forward with complete and utter clarity. Like there just wasn't any future in this situation. Okay. Let's get clarification. We've got the hangman in reverse. We've got the emperor in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So it sounds bad when they're in reverse, but there it actually isn't because the hangman in reverse to me says that you're not waiting around anymore, that you're very clear with the king of swords about what it is that you want. Maybe you just completely cut everything out of your life that wasn't working and it, it feels like a, a full they just showed me a big um I don't know, how do I explain it like a bucket flowing of water that was thrown onto a driveway that's the best way I can describe it it's like you're washing away and getting really clear about the things that had happened and letting them go and releasing them from your life so the hangman in reverse is like you're not waiting around anymore that's a good thing. Where you may have felt disempowered by the relationship, that's not going to be anymore. You're not going to let someone overpower you or make you feel as though you are not powerful. And then with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this is you just saying, I'm going to take a step back. Um, I know what makes me happy, but maybe you're just not ready to move forward yet. When you are, it's... It's going to be available to you. So let's show, I know this past relationship didn't make you happy. So moving into the future, try not to carry that with you. If you need time with the hangman in reverse, if you don't take your time, you may, may end up in another situation like this. And again, that whole idea of beating your head up against the wall. And with that, we've got the devil energy on uh, in reverse. So just be careful moving forward. This is a lot of toxic energy and and we're going to get some advice, but I would definitely say take the time to really heal yourself before moving forward into anything else. These types of relationships, if this was as toxic as I feel it was, take time. And rushing is not going to, to do you any good. It's that exactly what I was saying earlier, that whole idea of beating your head against a brick wall. You know, until you get the lessons, you don't want to repeat the same toxic relationships over and over and over again. All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice. And then we'll get some oracle cards for you as well. All right. This could be, I, I just heard, if you were fighting with a boss, if there was, was a situation around work, I feel like there's going to be a, a victorious, good outcome. That's going to be settled, and you're not going to be as concerned about Maybe you were concerned in the near future that you might end up losing money 
or maybe where this discord in the relationship at work was causing so many problems, maybe you thought that that was going to, again, cause you to either lose your job and put you in a bad position financially, but I don't feel that. So if you had any questions about that, I'd say you're going to be okay. All right, let's get some advice for Scorpio. Let's go with that. Okay, Nine of Cups, that's beautiful. And then we've got the Tower in Reverse and the Page of Swords. So the universe is saying to you, this is what's going to make you happy moving forward. These things are actually going to work out. Love is eventually going to work out. It takes time to understand what it is that you truly want in a relationship. And with the Tower in Reverse, that's, that's great. That's telling me, look, it's done. You've gone through the transformation. This has all fallen apart for a reason. And the Page of Swords is saying, listen, th this is a new beginning. He's got kind of a, a coy, shy look on his face. In other words, tread lightly. Like I said, this has just happened. It feels like it. Even if it's been a year, this is something maybe you've been carrying with you. And the universe wants you to know that you have a beautiful, loving future to look forward to. Put all of those bad relationships, all of those toxic relationships, let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck, and realize that you have to start kind of small, take those steps to heal, and then we've got the Ace of Pentacles um, in reverse. So maybe take a step back from work. Don't take anything new on just yet. The Page of Swords means maybe you want to talk about this, but you don't really want to express yourself fully. This could be an ex-partner who's still kind of keeping tabs on you. That would usually, for me, be the Page of, of Wands, but I just heard it, so I'm letting you know. It's kind of like you've got a couple people who are still watching you. I see the two birds they're pointing out there. And it's it, they're really keeping an eye on um, what's going on with you. Anyway, so look forward to the future because you have a lot of happiness coming towards you now that all of this stuff has broken away. And, you know, again, that the universe will come in and take something away. If you're not going to take the steps to make it happen, when it's meant to happen, it's going to. And it's going to be ripped out of your life. Especially if you're on a spiritual journey and you're just starting to wake up. That's when the universe tends to come in and kind of disrupt everything that you ever knew was. Or what seemed like your reality and break it apart so that it can completely transform you. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's what you went through. This thing, this relationship has definitely transformed you. Maybe things that you hadn't... Oh, okay, we got them all. Things that you hadn't really thought about before this relationship opened your eyes to. And everything is a lesson. So it's great to take those blessings, those lessons. I know it doesn't seem like it when you're in the heat of it. When you're hurt and it's painful. But there are some deep, deep deep lessons within all of those relationships. So orphaned, um, number five, for, for me, this is just feeling like lost, a little bit lost. Maybe there's some sadness still within you, but I, again, I still feel like you're going to be releasing this and moving forward. So between worlds, maybe you've been having some dreams about this. Maybe you understand astro travel and you've also been doing that, understanding that relationships are happening in all different dimensions. That's what they keep saying to me. So maybe there's this resolution, reconciliation in another dimension. I'm, I'm going to explain to you the story that they're showing me in my head. Basically, whatever the relationship is that's coming towards you, you've already experienced in the 5D. And you're coming out of the dark and into the light. So you're moving away from a dark time, feeling like you've been left out, feeling left alone, into this new beautiful beginning, into a new start. So this is what you have to look forward to in April. And then it says a new life. I mean, that couldn't be more perfect. And we've got the three and the nine. So that breaks down to a three. So finding happiness in all areas of your life, whether it be in your health, love, work, or whatever things in your life that make you really, truly happy. 
and it looks like you're going to be celebrating and feel really good about the decisions that you've made. It may not feel like it right now, but you have this for sure to look forward to. At least the energy of it, it's going to start happening in the month of April. Okay, Scorpio, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being with me. If you wouldn't mind, I appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, and please subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you'd like a personal reading, I do those as well. All of the information is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a beautiful month and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.